Hey, welcome to the HQ. Welcome to our kitchen. Just getting ready to start supper, or as we like to call it, meal prep. <laughs> and got me thinking of a conversation I had with a goalie today and how we have nutrition is one of the three key pillars in our pro habits part of the game winning goalie formula. So today I'm going to give you the three rules of nutrition for goalies. So the game winning goalie formula has three keystones. Each keystone has three pillars. So there are nine pillars in total. Nutrition is one of the pillars of what, what I call the pro habits keystone. So let's jump in. What are the three rules of nutrition for goalies? The first rule, or maybe it's, we should call them commandments because I kind of think of them as commandments. The first commandment of nutrition for hockey goalies is thou shalt eat food. So we think about eating food. <laughs> We think about, you know, preparing food. So over here, I've got the Instant Pot, I've got brown rice, I've got lean beef over there. So I'm gonna start making up, I'm gonna make up some bowls with some fresh vegetables. So when I look at that, it's like, okay, I know what all these ingredients are. This is rice that I'm gonna make in my Instant Pot. These are wheat berries that I'm gonna make in my Instant Pot. There's some cut up pieces of meat that I cut up myself <laughs> that I'm gonna grill to put in this bowl. So we're covering our macronutrients and we're thinking of eating, you know, a lean protein, a healthy carb and a healthy fat with every single snack and meal. And we want to make sure we're getting those with sufficient quality and sufficient quantity so that number one, we're also getting the vitamins and minerals we need to help support healthy body function. We also want to make sure that you're getting sufficient calories to fuel your training to um, make these adaptations, you know, to add some lean mass, to repair and rebuild muscles so that you have energy to keep going from day to day. Commandment number two has to do with the most effective ergogenic aid. So ergogenic aid means performance enhancing substance in the world. And that is thou shalt stay hydrated. So consuming water, and we'll talk a little bit about electrolyte mixes as well in a second, but water's free. <laughs> <laughs> it's not illegal and it is the, the biggest performance enhancing substance basically known to man. There was um, a good a couple different studies actually that were done and it's summarized in this uh, sort of, this isn't a research paper, but it is a nice kind of compilation and explanation. It's put out by Gatorade Sports Science Institute. So they do research, but also they're trying to sell Gatorade. So we take it with a grain of Gatorade as it were, <laughs> but it does summarize the research really well. And what they found was with, they looked at basketball players and when basketball players were dehydrated 2% based on their weight. So if we had a 200 pound basketball player, when they had lost four pounds during exercise, because when you lose weight during exercise, it's not fat. You, you've just lost fluid weight. So when they've lost four pounds of fluid, which actually isn't, it might sound like a lot, but it's not that much. I've trained hockey goalies that would lose like eight pounds in like a 40 minute run. So it's not out of the question, but when they lose just that 2%, so you probably wouldn't even feel thirsty yet. You probably wouldn't even have the drive to drink yet. Their motor coordination decreases. So under those conditions, for example, their field goal shooting, decreases 81% from the first half of the simulated game to the second half of the simulated game. 81% decrease in accuracy. They also had slower sprinting speeds, slower lateral movement speeds, and other studies, although I can't, I can't pull the name exactly, found that it also had a decrease in your aerobic capability capability, which yeah, it makes sense. If you run a marathon and you're not drinking anything, you're going to crash pretty, pretty hard, pretty fast. So really we could say hydration is pretty important. If you want to have precise motor skills, move with speed and precision and have good aerobic capacity. Yes, please. So here's the question that's related to commandment number two, which is thou shalt be hydrated. Do you ever weigh yourself before and after? So weigh yourself before you skate, uh, just in your skivvies on the scale. And then when you come home, cause 
I, maybe your dressing room doesn't have a scale. My dressing room doesn't have a scale. When you come home, weigh yourself again, just in your skivvies and see what the change in, uh, or you can weigh yourself naked, like that's fine too, but I'm just saying. Uh, but that's how we'll see. So then if you lost, say you lost two pounds for every pound of fluid weight you've lost, you should be consuming 250 to 500 mils of fluid. So like this measuring cup is 500 mils. So for every pound, so if I even lose just two pounds, I need to chug a lug one to two of these with water or a hydration solution. I'm totally fine with, and I think you should. So I've had um, some goalies like, oh yeah, I'm a heavy sweater. I lose a gajillion pounds, but I just drink water because I don't want any of that other crap. Well, by other crap, <laughs> do you mean like electrolytes that our body actually needs to function? Because uh, that that's not crap, that's, that's helpful. You maybe don't want it to be electric blue colored or have a whole bunch of sugar. Although if it's a sustained duration activity, a little bit of sugar, you know, isn't, isn't a bad thing, but you know, I like, and I don't get paid by BioSteel. I don't have an affiliate code or anything that I'm going to give you, but I like BioSteel because they don't use artificial flavors, artificial sweeteners, artificial colors, things like that. Like it pretty much is just, um, flavored water with electrolytes in it. So the electrolytes are not crap, they're actually important. Our body needs them to live. <laughs> so that's what you can do. So drop a, drop a comment below. Tell me if you ever weigh yourself, how much weight do you lose? Remember in the playoffs, they're like, Bobrovsky lost 20 pounds or something. I think that's probably then their training staff. Probably. I don't know. Maybe he would have lost 40 pounds, but you'd think, you know, with the advancements they could have probably do a better job of keeping him hydrated, but who knows what the circumstances are. But if you weighed yourself, how much is the most that you've ever lost or do it, do it this week when you're on the ice and see, you'll be surprised because the equipment adds so much heat stress to goalies. So there you go. Tell me how much you lost. Tell me how much do the calculation. Tell me how much you need to consume. Tell me if you have a super favorite flavor of your uh, rehydration drink. Some people do coconut water. Some people have water with a pinch of sea salt that they distilled themselves. That's all cool too. We're good. Commandment number three, nutrition commandment number three for goalies is thou shall use supplements strategically. Because here's what I find. In some cases, goalies overutilize supplements and in some cases you underutilize supplements. So some people get freaky about protein powder. They say again, I'm not gonna use that crap. <laughs> Well, by crap, do you just mean kind of like protein, some sort of protein, whey protein, pea protein, whatever kind of protein that's made into a powder. So it's convenient to take to the gym and just to add to a glass of water or milk and shake up and consume. So then you're actually getting the macronutrients you need. Some protein powders are crap because they have a whole bunch of crap put in them. <laughs> <laughs> but that is not the protein's fault. So don't be paying protein with the same brush as stimulants and things like that. I don't think you really need stimulants, but just a basic protein powder or a protein and carbohydrate powder. So again, I like this one. I like this because um, I had a couple goalies in town training with me this week and I can put, I can be like, here you can have this because it's NSF certified for sport and it's safe for sport certified. So we know that neither one of us is gonna end up on the news for taking something we accidentally should not have taken. So I like that one is just a plain protein. You guys think my pantry is just actually chock-a-block full of like protein containers and supplements. <laughs> it's like no food, just. Um, and then this is the one, Anglais. Uh, this is the recovery one that I like. But again, it doesn't matter. It can be a different brand, but I always look for NSF certified for sport and you want to get about 20 grams of protein, 40 grams carbohydrate. So I think those can be helpful. Would it be better to have a bowl of yogurt and some fruit and something else to get the right ratio? Maybe, maybe probably. <laughs> but if it's either that, like in my experience, when athletes came to the gym, they weren't toting along like a meal to eat afterwards, but they would throw up scoop in a shaker and away they go. And then I know they're getting what they need. Some other ones like sport beats. I think that's helpful for if you're doing sort of a, a sustained aerobic effort, high intensity aerobic effort. So no supplement is going to get you results without the training. So that's where there's a problem. Some of you think uh, the right supplement 
will somehow boost the positive effects of your crappy training. And it won't, it just, it just, then you just have crappy training and you're spending money on supplements. But if you're doing the right kind of training, the right volume, intensity, the right types of exercises consistently over time, then it can definitely be a help and it can give you a little boost. So they're not innately good and they're not innately bad. It's just a matter of, hey, what do you need based on where you're at? So in the game winning goalie formula, that's a conversation we're always having. Hey, at what stage should we be adding in creatine, for example? You know, for whom is that worthwhile and for whom is that just like, uh, well, this, if you want to spend money, go ahead, but it's not going to help you. And that's a problem with supplements too, because some are worth it. Some are very safe, really have been extensively studied and shown to be beneficial and safe, but some are not. And it can be really hard to tell. It's a very murky world. So that's why in, in the coaching group, you know, I'll always say, Hey, if it's not a brand I know, and it's why I, I do recommend BioSteel a lot because we know what's in that. But if it's a brand I'm not familiar with, then at least I'll say, Hey, snap a picture of the ingredient list, not what it says on the front label that it does, but the actual ingredient list. So I can review that and either say, yeah, this looks fine or say, I don't really like the look of this one. Maybe try this brand instead. And I'm going to be sharing more pillars of my training philosophy over the next little while. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. Let me know if you think that's a good idea. I spend a lot of time giving you goalies the what do this, do this, do this. But I think sometimes I'm not giving you as good a sense of the why and where it fits into everything. So that's what we're going to look at over the next few weeks. If you want to see how the pillars actually work in action to form a comprehensive holistic training plan, then click in the link below where it says, you know, work with me or find out how the game winning goalie formula works. And we have a page that kind of has all the information that you need on there and drop a comment below. Let me know which of the pillars you'd like me to cover in the next week's video. I'm thinking maybe stretching and flexibility or functional strength. So drop a comment below. Let me know which one you want me to post next week and I will get that posted up for you. Otherwise now is the time I'll ask you to hit like, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to click on the bell. You know what to do. I don't need to tell you this, but I do every time <laughs> I will see you next week. Same bad time, same bad channel. Thanks for hanging out in the kitchen with me. I'm going to go make a delicious supper right now. I love you guys. Catch you next time. Whoosh.